This is a very special plant named Confederate Rose or Hibiscus mutabilis. The Indian name is Land Lotus or Salpadma. The most interesting fact is the flower of this plant changes its color with time. In the morning, the flowers are completely white. As the sun goes up, the petals start getting pink shades on them. Just before evening, the flowers become completely pink. In this video, we will show you how to grow and take care confederate rose or land lotus plant with full updates. We collected this plant from our neighbor. It is the middle of May in India. We are going to transfer the plant in the final pot. We will use a 10 inch pot for this purpose. The soil mixture that we are using contains same amount of garden soil, cow dung compost and sand. The mixer is well drained and contains enough nutrients. First, cover the whole of the pot with some gravels. Then, fill the pot a little with soil. Heat the pot gently to take the plant out. Make sure the soil is dry enough. I will lose some soil and tease out the roots a little. As you can see, I have placed the plant deep down into the pot. The reason is that this plant is going to be a few feet tall. So, if the base of the plant remains higher in the pot, it will not get enough support to remain balanced. Make sure to keep the plant exactly at the center of the pot. Now fill the pot with the soil. There is still some empty space in the pot. This plant is small now. This amount of soil is enough for it. We will keep filling the pot with soil as the plant grows up. After 12 days. Today, we will add the mixture of 40% garden soil and 60% cow dung compost. This will add nutrients to the soil and also provide support to the plant. You need to keep applying this mixture once in a month for continuous supply of nutrients to the plant. This is after 2 months. The plant is almost 3 feet tall. The growth is good so far. The leaves are green and new branches are being formed. Today we will cut the main stem from the top. This will help in two ways. First, the plant will not become too long and second, multiple new branches will be formed. More branches means more flowers. We will apply some fungicide on the wound to protect the stem from the fungal attack. After 5 months. In between, we have trimmed the branches of the plant once. The plant now has multiple branches. All of the branches got buds on them. This plant needs a lot of water. In the summer, you need to water them twice a day. Once in the morning and once in the afternoon. We have given support to the plant using a bamboo stick. Today, we will add some cow dung compost to the soil. This will help the plant to develop the buds. If the cow dung is not dried properly, then use some fungicide with it. First, dig the topsoil a little and then add the compost.
एड वाटर फुल्ली After five months and twenty days, today is third November. We got the first flower. Lots of birds are ready to be bloomed. The next day, we got four flowers. Now let's talk about the pesticides that we used. This plant is mostly affected by mealybugs and white flies. These two problems has a single solution: use imidacloprid. This insecticide is very effective. against the most sucking insects like mealybugs and white flies dissolve 2 ml of this insecticide in 1 liter of water and spray on the plant once in a month spray on both of the sides of the leaves and on the branches as well during the rainy season we applied fungicide spray to protect the plant from fungal attacks the next day we got eight flowers It looks nice and interesting to see these flowers changing their colors in front of our eyes. Now, let's talk about fertilizers. We used cow dung compost regularly as mentioned earlier. Instead of cow dung, you can use any organic compost. You may also use any flower booster chemical liquid fertilizer. It contains multiple micro and macro nutrients that helps the plant to grow healthy and produce nice flowers dissolve 5 ml of this fertilizer in 2 liters of water and spray on your plants every 15 to 20 days this plant needs full sunlight to grow and produce flowers thus keep the plant in such a place where the sunlight stays for the whole day now you can judge whether we have properly taken care of the plant or not by seeing the number and the size of the flowers especially when the plant is kept in just a 10 inch pot if you think we did well then like the video and subscribe to our channel it will be really helpful if you share this video with your friends and give us your feedback you have watched this video till the end it's a great pleasure for us we think you will do a little further to support us thank you so much see you in the next video